Dan Bjorki, Little Trees Guitars, here today to talk about the Studio Friend Distortion Pedal. Let's get down here and have a look at this thing. So, pretty straightforward in that it's just a volume distortion tone knob. This is going to increase the amount of volume you have above your dry signal. This is going to introduce uh, little amounts of distortion all the way up to massive amounts of distortion. The tone knob, pretty self-explanatory over here, it's going to add as much treble as the circuit is capable, and over here it's going to kind of cater to the lower side of what you have going in the way of distortion. Over here is a choke. That's a variable Henry choke. What that does is it takes your guitar pickup's inductance and it shrinks it. That's what a, a Henry is. Henrys represent inductance. Guitar pickups have inductance. This guy chokes the inductance of the pickups on their way into the pedal or the effect zone inside of the pedal. And it kind of removes the heavy handed bass low frequencies that seem to come along with uh, like neck humbuckers, for instance. And that way you can, in the blue setting, the choke is only in circuit when the pedal is operating in its blue mode. Green is whatever these are set to with no choke. Blue is whatever these are set to and you have the ability to withdraw your inductance from that setting. That's what that switch does. This switch just turns the pedal on or off. Right now the pedal is off. Right now the pedal is on. And this switch when nothing's plugged in, it does nothing, but it's for the clean rebooster. The clean rebooster is located on the side of the pedal, and what it does is it doubles back out the signal that you have plugged into the pedal. So whatever is going in the two input, if this is selected, you can just send that back out to either an amplifier with two inputs, a high gain situation like what we have here. You can have it sent out to another amplifier altogether, your, loop, your looper pedal, and honestly anything really. And when you plug it in, it dimly lights, and when it's in circuit, it's brightly lit. So I guess um, what I'm gonna do is just kind of set the pedal middle of the road here in green and I'll sync the base out of the choke so that when we use it we'll be adding. But here, right now I do not have this on so I'm using just one of my amps outputs. <laughs> And if I turn my clean rebooster on, I'm accessing both my low and high gain inputs from my amplifier here. And so if I turn my pedal on right now, I have I feel like I'm coming in below my signal here, so let's let's up the ante a little bit.
So some good lead tones. And if you put your pickups in parallel, you can get some really nice lead tones. But let's uh, check out that choke. So right now I've got that as my signal. Let's go into the neck and add all the bass. So if I go into my choke, that is much less bass. And if I go up all the way, it's effectively the same thing as green. But I primarily use this, I get rid of the shaky part of the signal, like right there. So I get these really dark kind of... Really great for rhythm. But the beautiful thing with this pedal is now with the Clean Rebooster, you can go in and you can add uh, you can add your clean back in and get these. And if your pickups in parallel, you can get an even cleaner. It's again great. Just phenomenal lead sounds. So there's one more thing I'd like to show everybody here, and that is when you have the pedal plugged directly into an amplifier in two places, and it's on, the Clean Rebooster is on, if you go into, say, your bridge pickup and start to crank this thing, you can get it to oscillate on you. Now that's pretty cool too, because if you put it, if you put the pedal into the blue setting, you can you can kind of tune it. Which is pretty cool. So you can also play guitar with this.
So that, that can be pretty fun between songs. But one of my favorite things to do with the pedal when it's synthesizing like this is actually just to unplug the guitar altogether. And if you just plug the guitar into the pedal itself, so I've got this gray cable just looping around here. Check this out. You can actually get the thing to behave in a really cool way. So right now I've got the pedal just feeding itself whatever I have set here. And again with the clean rebooster, if I turn this on, it's just gonna reboost out whatever is plugged into here. In this case, it's its own effect. So let's have a listen on that. So you can hear that it's now creating all kinds of... tones. So that's pretty cool. And in blue, you can tune it. But yeah, so that's pretty much the Little Tree's studio friend in a nutshell. And, you know, thanks again for checking out the video here. And I mean, this is a long one. And yeah, feel free to come check these things out. I've got a couple here at the shop. Uh, I've got a video up on Reverb. They're obviously for sale on the website here. Uh, they're at Trade Up Music, Humstrom Drum. But Again, you know, feel free to get in touch with me, dan at littletreesguitars.com, and here we are.